Hi, welcome to OAC. In this video, we will see how we can add Serilog file based logging in .NET Core. Let's first see in .NET console application. For that, let's create a new console application. I am using .NET 6 here. Now add required NUCAD packages in the project. I will search for Serilog and then I will install Serilog Syncs file package which is used to write logs to plain files in text or JSON format. You can verify the dependencies and versions here. Now back in program.cs file, let's create a logger. We will create a logger with the settings set to write to file and then use that logger to write logs. For that, let's move to the top of the file and write log. To remove these red lines, I will press control dot and then select using serilog. Then log dot logger equals new logger configuration dot minimum level debug dot write to dot file and then in the first parameter i will give the relative path where my log files will be stored with file name in my case it's logs slash so here logs is the folder and the file name is my log dot txt then second parameter is rolling interval rolling interval day it means it will create a new file per day and finally dot create logger now we can write the logs but before that let's fix this error warning just write the parameter name rolling interval now to write the logs we can simply write log dot information and here you can write any message you want so i will write application started dot 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 here i have used information there are other methods like error warn etc which you can use as required now we can run this application but before that let me show you where it will create the logs folder and this log file for that open your project folder so right click go to the project folder and here go inside the bin debug net 6.0 currently it is empty as we have not run our application in debug mode but it is here where the logs folder will be created when you will publish your application the location of this logs folder will be relative to your application executable now let's run the application and here is the output hello world now to check the log file let's go to the folder location again bin debug net 6.0 and here you can see the logs folder along with the application executable files inside the logs folder here you can see my logs file it has automatically appended the date as we are using day based file rolling and here's the contents of the file Here's the text application started. So that's how we use Serilog in .NET console application. Let's see this in ASP.NET Core web application. For that, we will create a new project. To save time, I will just add it in the same solution. Here again, we will add the Serilog Nougat package, but this time we will use Serilog ASP.NET Core package which makes it a lot easier to set up for web application. Just check the supported version and install it. Now let's go to the program.cs file. Here also we need to create a logger with file write settings just like in our console application. So just to save time, I will go to the console apps program.cs file and copy the create logger code and paste it here at the very top now let's attach it to application builder so after the line where builder is created let's add builder dot host dot use serilog 
we also need it to add this in the middleware pipeline. So come here and write app dot use seri log request login. That's it. So when the application will start, it will print text application start in the log file. And then the later settings here are done so that we can access this logger in our other code areas like controllers and services. Let's try to access this logger in our controller code. So open home controller and here first we need to inject ilogger in the constructor. In my case, it's already injected as I am using the default template. So in case you are adding a new controller, you have to create a logger and then inject it in the constructor like this. Now to write any message to the logger from our controller, we only need to call this ilogger instance. I will go to the index method and write logger dot log information and then any message like cd log logging home controller. Now save it and run this application. We have added the log at the landing page of this application that is home controllers index method. So it should have already added that log to file. But let me navigate to the other pages and come back. Now let's go to the root folder of this project. And in the case of web application, you can see that the logs folder is created at the root location of the application. Let's go inside and open the file. At the very top, you can see the application started message. And then there are whole other messages from the debug event. And so you can see all these are debug events. And there are some other events like for example information event messages also here. So let's search for our message. And here it is. This is how you can log messages and events in ASP.NET. You can also set the logging label. As you saw, there were lots of debug events logged and maybe you want a cleaner logging file. So for that, you have to set the logging event label. You can control that from the app settings file logging property. Here you can set the desired logging label and it will work according to that. You can also set seri log logging settings from here also. But that's out of the scope of this video next time thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button got questions or feedback put it in the comment section consider subscribing to this channel for more helpful videos thank you